now we are going to install the starter shingles. We're going to run them up the rig for reasons you will learn later. Alrighty, so you're going to want to keep it feel for about a quarter inch at the bottom, about a quarter inch on the sides of the roof, which is called the rake, and the bottom is the E. Got a quarter inch there. Pop a nail in there. Make sure you're still consistent. There's that. Alrighty. Now, the reason I started at the rake is these starter shingles are the same length as the actual shingles themselves. So therefore, if you put down a starter and a shingle, it would line up on the joint, the water line. It's at the bottom of the roof, but it still causes a leak. So from there, what you're going to want to do, what I do, is I'll take another full starter, put it over top of the one that's there, keep it in a quarter inch overhang, never a tad, and then you can just cut it to length with the other starter. It's a perfect, perfect fit. There you are. You save this strap for later. Now, take your other starter, line her up, keep a consistent, always stay consistent with the starter's overhang of an eighth to a quarter inch to keep your shingle line straight, tack her in, looks good. Consistent with the quarter inch that I'm using. Quarter inch, tacker, 